I'm embarrassed. I know you're embarrassed. And it has just been a terrible season for the New York football giants. And an offseason is going to have a lot of important decisions to make. So this will be the first one. If you want Joe Judge fired, like this video. I guarantee you a decision will be made very soon. I want him gone, as you can see, this sack's on my head. But if you want Joe Judge fired, like this video. What's going on, Giants fans? For the last time, we're doing this. A game recap where the Giants once again lose to a divisional foe in the Washington football team. And it was just an ugly game. And we've got bigger news to talk about than recapping the game, so let's get right into it. There are reports that came out over this weekend that Dave Gettleman is expected to retire Monday morning. And if you've been a, a subscriber and follower of the show, you knew that because we told you that weeks ago. I knew the Giants just wouldn't outright fire Dave Gettleman. They have too much respect for him for some weird, odd reason. He was probably the worst general manager the Giants have had in the past 20 years. And I think he deserved to be fired. If you're going to fire Jerry Reese after two Super Bowl wins midseason, Dave Gettleman, he deserves the same thing. But he is expected to retire Monday morning, which is finally a blessing for Giants fans because the Dave Gettleman experience was an absolute disaster. From missing on Nate Solder to signing Jonathan Stewart and saying that he has plenty of time left in his legs. Everything he did went just about wrong. Picking a running back second. At the time, I liked the pick because I love Saquon Barkley and I thought it would help Eli Manning and the Giants get back over the top. But the record under Dave Gettleman, there's nothing you can do to defend it. 19 and 46 as the New York Giants general manager. It did not work out. And I'm upset because I never want the Giants to be bad. I always rooted for Dave Gettleman to get the best out of his players and the most out of this team and be the guy that turned this New York Giants franchise around. Just unfortunate for Giants fans, that was not the case. Dave Gettleman. It did not work out, and I'm upset because I love the Giants. I know you love the Giants, and that's why you're watching it. But anytime you go 19 and 46, and it's in your record as a general manager, I don't think you deserve to return. And I am under the the under the impression that Dave Gettleman will not be back. But you guys tell me. I want to hear what you have to say about this. You're always talking about Dave Gettleman in the comments, so let me know. What was the worst move? of the Gettleman era. You could go a lot of different ways. Maybe taking Saquon Barkley second or picking a quarterback out of Duke that a lot of people didn't think would go in the first round or signing Nate Solder to a massive contract like they did or maybe it's the Jonathan Stewart or maybe other signings like the Patrick Omame. There were a lot of bad signings by Dave Gettleman, a lot of bad draft picks. Unfortunately for the Giants, it has not worked out and the reports are coming out that he will be out come Monday. But get your votes in. What was the worst move of the Dave Gettleman era. On the Fox pregame show today, Jay Glazer and Michael Strahan had somewhat of a back and forth about Joe Judge and whether he'd be in or out. Glazer had three categories of guys. Guys that would be fired, guys that were, would be safe, and guys that needed more time. And Joe Judge, he fell under that category, and Glazer expanded upon that, and he said this. This week, I'm going to say it is 50-50 that Joe Judge will be back or will be fired. And the thing is, he is trying to get it where Kevin Abrams is the general manager of the New York Giants coming up. And Kevin Abrams, he's currently the assistant manager for the general, uh, New York Giants. He's been there for 23 years. And Michael Strahan, obviously a Giants legend, he sounded off and he said this. No. Oh, no. You know what, Jay? I know Kevin Abrams. He is a great guy. He has been there a long time. Joe Judge has been there. It has been a great experiment. I don't know why he said that as a head coach coming from the New England Patriots, but I just think they are not competitive. That's what I'm looking at every week. Show me some spark. Show me some competitiveness. Competitiveness. He talks about culture. What is the culture? We talk about the fans. The fan base in New York is fed up. It is time for the Giants to reach outside of the norm and stop being as conservative as they have been in the past and move on. The NFL is changing and the Giants need to change with it. And I'm right there with Strahan. The Giants, they need to hire someone from outside of the organization. They need to do something different than they've done in the past. Do you want the Giants to promote Kevin Abrams to general manager? This is a sticky topic and I think it's something that we may actually be leaning into. And as a Giants diehard, it sucks to say. But let me know. Type Y if you want Kevin Abrams to be the next general manager. If not, type N for no.
And when the Giants hire their next general manager or whatever they do if they pro promote from within with Kevin Abrams, this is your channel and this is why you subscribe because we will be breaking it down as soon as possible. Monday morning, if Joe Judge gets fired on Black Friday, we'll have a video up and we'll have a list of potential candidates. Once Dave Gettleman is officially out as the New York Giants general manager, we will do another Dave Gettleman replacements video. You guys love that. Over 20,000 views on that. I appreciate it. But this is your one-stop shop for Giants news and rumors all season long. A lot of Giants channels on YouTube, they're going to pack it in since the season's over. Not us. Not here at Chat Sports. We're going to up our coverage, and we're going to do more videos than ever before about the draft, free agency, coaching carousels, GM hot boards, everything you want as a Giants fan. This is your channel. So hit that big red button. This picture you see right next to me, this is what the stadium looked like after the first drive of the football game. What, maybe 20% of the seats are filled? And this is a good thing for the New York Giants. They have to show John Mara and the, the Tisch family that they are fed up with this. The only way you can do that as a fan is really by not buying tickets or buying tickets and not showing up. And we all know one thing with the Mara family and John Mara and specifically. They hate being embarrassed. And in week 18 with the lack of fans showing up and all the fans you see, half of them left by halftime. The Giants organization today was absolutely embarrassed. And one thing that was also embarrassing, the back-to-back -back QB sneaks on your own three, th two and three yard line. Last week, the Giants were in that scenario, and they were forced into a safety, so I understand why. But look, it's week 18. You got no shot of making the playoffs. What do you have to lose? I understand Jake Fromm is a guy that you can't trust, and a, he's behind an offensive line that you also can't trust. But just fucking go for it. Do something. Don't just give up, lay down, and punt up and curl up like a little scared baby. That's what this Giants team to do did today, and it was upsetting. The back-to-back -back QB sinks was one of the more wild things I've ever seen in my tenure of being a Giants fan. But I want to know what you guys thought once that happened. What was your reaction to the back-to-back -back QB sneaks by Jake Fromm? I was left speechless. I really didn't know what to say. A lot of people posted on Twitter, the Giants just did a QB sneak on third and 10. The bigger problem, they did it on second and 11, back-to-back. -back. But get your, get your thoughts out in the comments section. What was your reaction to the back-to-back -back QB sneaks? The NFL season is over, but the playoffs is here, and that's a great time to start betting on games because the NFL is always better than the playoffs are here, and I wish the Giants would do that. But if you're looking to bet throughout the NFL playoffs, do it with our proud sportsbook partners, BetUS. When you go to chatsports.com bet and use the promo code chat125, and if you deposit 100 bucks, they will match that with a 125% deposit bonus, the best deposit bonus on the internet. You can try and find other ones, but I guarantee you this is the best one. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125, and you got to deposit 100 bucks to get that 125% deposit bonus. Since this is a game recap, I guess we'll talk about the game because that's what we do, and man, it was... I told myself, you know, I can't take this team as seriously as I want to because they're depleted, they're with their four-string quarterback, a lot of backups on offense, but they lost this one 22-7, and I told myself, I'm going to laugh instead of cry. Sometimes you just got to laugh to prevent yourself from crying, and that's what I did when they did the back-to-back -back QB sneaks. I just laughed because there was a lot of pain in me, and I didn't want to let it out, but I just laughed to get over it. At the end of the day, Jake Fromm, he was... Exactly what you kind of thought Jake Fromm was. 15 for 31, just over 100 yards through the air. One TD, two interceptions. I mean, he had a pick six. He did all right. He did hit Darius Slayton for a touchdown late in the game. Saquon Barkley didn't have a very good game. 11 carries for 30 yards. There wasn't a, 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 lot of, a lot of room for Saquon Barkley to run. But at the end of the day, this team is what it is. And the most crazy thing about it, the Giants did not score a single point this season and the last two minutes of the first half. I don't know if that's an NFL record, but I believe it is. I don't think a team has ever finished a season not scoring a single point at the end of the first half in the final two minutes. And the most crazy thing, the Giants were technically negative two points in the final two minutes of the first half because last week they, they were held to a safety. So their defense scored more points than the Giants did all season long. 
just absolutely brutal. And that's why fans in the stadium and myself in the beginning of this video were wearing brown bags over their head. People were fed up. People are tired of showing up to this clown show organization that continues to put out a product that New Yorkers cannot be proud of. This organization needs to act like they are the New York football giants. One of the most storied franchises in the NFL, it's time to act like it. Anytime you got people in brown bags showing up to your stadium, it's got to be a real gut punch for John Mara. I'm sick of it. I know you guys are sick of it. This is something that needs to change in the immediate future. And hopefully a new GM comes in and gets it right. And if Joe Judge is fired, hopefully a head coach that has head coaching experience and experience success in the NFL comes and gets the job done. But I want to know what you guys have to say. Last question of the day. What is your one word reaction to the season? For me, it's embarrassing because that's what this New York Gi Giants football team was. It was embarrassing. I expected them to, you know, compete for a playoff spot. Maybe not win the NFC East, but at least compete for a wild card spot. And that, unfortunately, did not happen. But let me know. What is your one word reaction to the season? On a little bit of a happier note, I want to thank a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to New York Giants now by chat sports. I really want to thank everybody over the NFL seasons of shows that don't have live shows. We are the channel that has experienced the most, the most growth. And that's only possible because all of you have hit that big red button. I grew up a Giants fan. This is my first year covering the Giants and I'm doing something I love. And it's all a shout out to you guys. Cause if this channel doesn't grow, I don't get to keep doing videos. So thank you to everybody has hit that big red button. And also hit me up on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I'm going to be tweeting throughout the offseason about anything I hear surrounding the Giants. So hit me up at Marshall Green underscore.